Hi, welcome to Kauzarwai's channel. This is the continuation video of dividend policy. In this video, we are going to see Gordon's model. Now, let's get into the video. See, we have already seen two videos related to dividend policy. In the first video, we have seen meaning and basic concepts about dividend policy. And in the second video, we have seen calculation of market value per share by using Walter's model. Okay. In this video, we are going to see the same thing that is calculation of market value per share by using Gordon's model. Okay. So, this is the formula, simple formula to calculate market value per share that is P is equal to D divided by K minus G. Okay. D refers to what? Dividend per share. So, already we have seen the same calculation in the previous video, right? What is the formula to find out dividend per share? Earning per share into payout ratio. Then you will be getting D. And the next one is K. K refers to cost of capital. And then G refers to growth rate. How to calculate growth rate? So, this is the formula to find out growth rate. The formula is B into R. So, B denotes retention ratio and R denotes rate of return. Okay, by multiplying these two things, you will be getting growth rate. Okay, so what is retention ratio? See, after finding the earnings which is available to shareholder, okay, the company has to decide whether to declare the entire amount as dividend or to retain some proportion. That decision is called dividend policy. For example, the earnings per share of the company is 100 rupees. The company decided to declare as dividend 70 percentage. The remaining 30 percentage is called retention. The 70 percentage which they have decided to declare now, that is called payout. Okay. The remaining 30 percent retained, that amount is called retention ratio. Okay. Then, the last one is E. E refers to earnings per share. So, these are the various components okay, which is required to find out market value per share according to Gordon's model. Now, let us see the numerical problem. Look at the problem. The following information relates to Vice Limited. Earnings per share that is E rupees 20. Cost of capital that is K 12 percentage. Rate of return on investment that is R 15 percentage. Okay. So, they have given E, K, R values. Okay. With this information, they are asking you to find out the market price per share under Gordon's model when the payout ratio is 70 percentage, 50 percentage and 40 percentage. Okay. So, if the payout is 70 percentage means the remaining 30 percentage is retention ratio. Okay. For the second one, 50 percentage payout. No. The remaining 50 percentage is retention ratio. For the last one, 40 percentage payout, the remaining 60 percentage retention ratio. Okay. Now, let us see the solution. See the solution. Computation of market price per share under Gordon's model. So, here we have three different alternatives. The first one is uh, when payout ratio is 70 percentage. Okay. So, the remaining 30 percentage is retention ratio. So, B denotes retention ratio. The second option Payout ratio is 50 percentage. So, the remaining 50 percentage retention ratio. Third one, when payout ratio is 40 percentage, the remaining 60 percentage is retention ratio. Okay. And these are the informations given in the problem. E rupees 20, K 12 percentage, R 15 percentage. Okay. So, E earnings per share, K cost of capital or return on investment. Okay. And with this information, they are asking you to find out the market price per share under Gordon's model for three different alternatives. So, first I am going to find out the market price per share for case A. See, this is the formula according to Gordon's model to find out market price per share. This is D divided by K minus G. So, what is D? D denotes dividend per share. Okay. So, there is a formula to find out D. So, what is the formula? Earnings per share into payout ratio. That is E into payout ratio. Okay. How much E? Rupees 20. No. So, rupees 20 into 70 percentage. So, 70 percentage on 20 rupees is 14 rupees. So, dividend per share is 14 rupees. Okay. Now, the next one is K. K means cost of capital. 
that is given in the problem 12 percentage the next one is g g means growth rate what is the formula for g b into r rate of return okay so i'm going to substitute the formula to find out g so formula is b into r b denotes retention ratio 30 percentage into r r is 15 percentage okay so we need to find out the growth ratio percentage so we need to multiply with 100 so b how much 30 percentage into r 15 percentage okay so the growth rate is 4.5 percentage so we got all the figures now substitute the formula to find out market price per share what is d 14 rupees 14 rupees divided by k cost of capital is 12 percentage minus g g how much 4.5 percentage 14 rupees divided by 12 minus 4.5 you will be getting 7.5 percentage okay so 14 divided by 7.5 into 100 you will be getting 186.67 you can round up the figure so this is the market price per share according to first option okay in the same way we are going to find out market value for each and every options look at the second option so before you substitute the formula first we need to find out d then g then you can substitute the formula so what is d dividend per share so what is the formula for that earning per share into payout ratio so earning per share is 20 rupees no 20 into payout ratio is 50 percentage according to second option answer is rupees 10 so this is d dividend per share the next one g what is the formula for g b into r that is retention ratio into rate of return so rate of return 15 percentage and b retention ratio is for second option 50 percentage okay so 50 percentage into r 15 percentage okay 50 by 100 point 0.5 into 15 by 100 point 0.15 okay multiply these two things and then multiply with 100 to get growth rate okay 7.5 percentage so we have got d and g now substitute the formula what is the formula for market price per share d divided by k minus g so k remains same 12 percentage so p is equal to d rupees 10 divided by k 12 percentage minus g g how much 7.5 percentage 10 rupees divided by 12 minus 7.5 you will be getting 4.5 percentage that is 10 divided by 4.5 into 100 because this one is percentage no so into 100 you will be getting rupees 222.22 so this is the market value per share according to the second option see the third option first we need to find out d okay earning per share 20 rupees no so 20 rupees into payout ratio 40 percentage how much 8 rupees then calculate g so what is the formula for g retention ratio into rate of return okay so 60 percentage into 15 percentage 60 by 100 point 6 into 15 by 100 point 15 into 100 9 percentage this is g now substitute the formula d how much rupees 8 divided by k 12 percentage 12 percentage minus g 9 percentage so 8 rupees divided by 12 minus 9 
3 percentage that is 8 divided by 3 into 100. So, what is the answer? 266 rupees 0 0.67. So, this is the way to find out the market value per share according to Gordon's model. Okay. If they ask you to find out the optimum payout ratio means uh, the same procedure which we followed for the Walters model is applicable even for Gordon's model. Okay. And this problem is uh, growth firm because uh, the growth firm procedure is uh, R that is return on investment must be greater than cost of capital. So, in this problem R is greater than the cost of capital. So, this problem is this firm is growth firm. Okay. Whatever procedure we have applied for Walters model the same procedure even applicable for Gordon's model in order to find out the optimum payout ratio for growth firm normal firm and declining firm. You can refer the previous video for that particular point alone. Okay. So, now in this problem we have seen how to calculate market price per share according to Gordon's model. In the next video we are going to see MM model. You can find the links in the description box. So, hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.